When's the last time you casted LD? Uh, well, I don't know if you count Summit. Otherwise, yeah. it would be MDL Chengdu, probably. Oh, dang. It's been a bit. Yeah. That was uh, six months ago or something? Five months ago? Yeah, we'll see how long it takes to shake the rust ah, off Ah, you'll be good. Carry me, William. Carry me. You know, uh, oh, we'll take turns. You know, you carried me at TI. I carry you here. Yeah, you're 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 buff now. You know, you're doing your push-ups. God bless every break. Got to do. How 10, many have you done? I've done uh, seven thousand five hundred and ten since when? In uh, nineteen days. Wow. It's about four hundred a day or something. Ladies, he's not single. I'm not, sadly. <laughs> also, dudes, you know, I don't discriminate. Handsome young men out here. And and uh, not handsome young men. Uh, who, are you trying to, who are you trying to <laughs> refer to? Don't talk about Grant like that. Like That's kind of messed up. All right. Well, let's talk about Dota. Then. That seems like a safe topic here. So we have Cyber Legacy on the Radiant side. Looks like they did get a deep ward down here uh, on the bottom side of the map. Pretty interesting. Are we going to see like uh, some creep pulling shenanigans, you think? Uh, I would imagine so. Depends, I guess, on how they think like the initial lane goes. If they decide... Uh, they can lane, but I think like the reason why Mirana, for example, goes boots and doesn't go for a uh, headdress or anything like that or Bassy to help out is to pull the wave because she thinks it's going to be a pretty annoying wave. And you would be right. I'd say Dazzle's like one of the few heroes that really bothers Axe just because you keep tanking poison touch hits. And yeah, and, they, and the heal bomb is devastating when you're standing in the creep wave. Yeah, exactly. There was a time period where Axe was stronger than that. I don't know if you recall, but like there was a, there was a patch where Axe was just like the strongest offlaner. Uh, nothing could fight him, but now uh, it's pretty okay to deal with. But I don't. I think if you typically don't buy any sort of extra regen on your four or anything like that, uh, you usually want to pull. Because look at him, like he's out of regen now. Like I don't even think uh, King R wants to be in this position. He wants to go all the way around to the left and cut through. Does have that ward? Maybe could uh, go for a courier snipe here. This looks like Big Num is trying to sneak that courier into the trees, but Kinar may rotate towards mid. You can see there is a nice ward, though, to scout that Marana movement while there's some dueling happening up top. Dude, you have been keeping up with Dota. If you know that they place the ward to pull, then you're already ahead of the game. I'm basically uh, you're back top in 100 rank. I At least you're logic trapping pretty well. It's good. You're like <laughs> thinking Let's it not through. get ahead of ourselves. No, I'm impressed. I don't think... Uh, a lot of my fellow co commentator Cap, would understand that very well. Well, he's, uh, you know, he's Cap. What? I didn't say anything. Uh, but he, in fact, isn't going for that. Maybe he thinks they can straight up lane. And so far, seems okay. Yeah, Slark taking a bit of harassment, but he still has tons of regen here. Will arrow to secure that creep. And. I mean, yeah, Slark CSing well, Morphling doing decently so far versus the Bat. So it actually uh, ends up being the safe lane DK in the end. And looks like Excalibur taking some decent harass, but he'll be able to morph it off and wave away. I like that from Pikachu. Uh, he decided to go for the Flame Break. I don't think he can kill with Firefly. The Morphling can always wave farm out. Maybe if you can, like, dive him under the tower or something like that. Okay, now finally gets that cheeky courier snipe pre-delivery. Yeah. Unfortunate. So uh, not really having much impact in the lane per se, but uh, that'll certainly help slow things down. I really like Pikachu as a player. He hasn't really had as much success as his brother, um, but I think he still... Excalibur might be in trouble here. No, actually the first blood happening down the bottom lane as Gostic goes down, traded for with Big Num. So they lose their offlane axe, and Excalibur very close to dying mid to the flame break. Yeah, that's why I'm surprised they didn't go for the pull. Uh, I don't think this lane is good for axe, and it snowballs really quickly, especially when Slark starts to get like that permagi, uh, and he gets some levels. Like it's going to be pretty annoying for him to play because he can't straight up lane. And so I would imagine he should tell his uh, Marana, like, "Hey, I need some help." For what? those who don't know, by the way, Pikachu is the twin brother of Iceberg. If you've ever seen them in person, like... I knew that, and then I forgot that. So thank well, you now for you know reminding me. <laughs> oh, and now, as we look away, Pikachu gets the kill Shows on Shows that maybe he's the brother to be afraid of. He got two levels of Flame Break. That's pretty boss. Like, I, I, didn't I think guess the Firefly doesn't really do much versus the Morph. Uh, no, not Downside at all. is this may slow down like your jungle and split pushing later on. Yeah, I think it actually hurts your game a little bit. But, but you're killing a Morph. Yeah, And yeah, it's, yeah, a mid, it's a mid 1v1. Yeah, value, too. value. 
Yeah, Gostick is now resorting to the creep pulling. This is going to free up Kainar, looking to secure this four-minute bounty rune. Lobs in the arrow, and oof. Just misses Pikachu there. Does have the ob, so unlikely that was going to connect. And Pikachu has the uh, illusion rune at top two. Don't think he's going to get contested for that. And Dazzle has to get back here sooner. Uh, this is a lot of XP that Axe is getting right now. And now... Uh, Big Dom's going to take some harass here. He gets the call off with the creep still on him. Will there be no more heal. lucky spins? He's getting the a heals good a amount of down. spins. Uh, just needs a little more. But does end up getting almost the entire wave uncontested. Meanwhile, up top, big Arrow. action breaking out. And Arrow will be dodged as Dendi tries to man up versus last hero. Gets rebuked away and uh, will be fine in the end. The Dendi carry arc. Never thought I'd see the day. Yeah, that's something new. You know, there's very few players who have been around as long as Dendi who are still playing, like, a one or two position role. Yeah, almost uh, all of them like, Can you think of any others? Like, um, like, this is literally since the game was released, he's been in that core role. Oh. Uh, Palantimos, he's going to go down, and that's a pretty worthwhile trade, I'd say. Uh, that Slarker is getting pretty massive, and they're going to get at least one of the bounty runes here. King R looks like might Pikachu just die will, here, though. will sneak in and grab one. If you saw King R, he'd... King R would be dead, but it looks like he's not going to stick around. He is rushing bots by the looks of things, so going for that very heavy, like, farming map pressure type build. Ah, uh, Ice, Ice, Ice. Ice, Ice, Ice. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, he's like a three. Yeah. Um, he's but been as far as like a one or two. His entire time, yeah. I'm not sure. That's actually a pretty good question, and I don't think there's many. Uh, I find most of the players that become, like, veterans, it's like almost your duty to impart your knowledge. And it's harder to do that when you're focused on last hitting and lane mechanics, like in the game. You yeah, know? there's very, very few captains that captain from the core position. It's just really hard to do. Um, I'd say there was like oh, Excalibur oh. nine stacks on him, Let's and be careful. The flame break almost killing him off. He's now gonna have 20 stick charges though, so he'll be back to full HP. Yeah. Bottom lane. This yeah. is gonna be Ghostic dead. He's yeah, gonna Ghostic get Ghostic struggling. That's gonna be some delicious free agi. For Palantimos, unless the cookie can get him away, He's it got will just barely tick. allow him to survive. Oh, that was close. He's actually had an okay-ish laning phase. Like his CS is perfectly fine. He does have two deaths, but uh, sort of expected. I still think that the Marana should have pulled, which is why I believe she decided to ward there uh, and get boots. Wants but. to set up on the mid lane. TP's coming in. Pikachu's low. Excalibur has a DD. They could go for this dive, but the Grimstroke already rotating in with the Stroke of Fate. Gonna force them back as Excalibur sieges this tower. That's Heavy a lot damage of damage. Done. He might actually get it. Are they committing for it? Arrow coming through. Gonna connect onto Happy Dira, and the follow up is there. A solo kill, or not a solo kill, but a, a key kill and a tower as well. That was very well done. And uh, Big Num's gonna TP in, but not a lot. Man, look at all here. these wards now around the mid lane. Like, so much protection for the morph lane and kind of a dead zone for the Radiant. Yeah. And uh, with this Batrider build, I mean, it was nice against the Morph, but... Now you're a Batrider with no Firefly. <laughs> yeah. I can't... Uh, you can't really underrate how bad this feels. Because if you get the next level Sticky, which you most likely will, it's going to be level 8 until he gets his first level of Firefly. And then it's like he's rushing Boots of Travel, and what is he going to do? Sticky Napalm and Flame Break Creep Wave? Uh, yeah. That doesn't seem very efficient. And the Pounce misses. X is just going to run out. Uh, but... Even though it's like, for example, you play Rubik, a lot of people will go the lift to set up for a kill or um, to try to like save somebody, but that actually ruins most Rubik's games. Like you want to have the Fate Bolt to harass and be able to last hit the range creep and be useful in the lane. Uh, it's similar situation here where you're leveling a skill just for that one specific situation, but it's very limited and it kind of runs out uh, pretty quickly. I'll also say King R is being a beast right now like he is annoying another to play on the courier map. and that tasty, courier, tasty he just wasn't paying attention yeah he's trying to get his own hero back to safety and in the meanwhile does lose it that obs ward will be delayed and uh yeah we just see pikachu kind of chilling mid and and farming now he has taken the point in firefly but it does it just feels like this key tempo controller is going to be limited so the question is, can anyone else step up? Do we see maybe the Mars getting involved early? Like, so far he's laning against Dendi, but Dendi's farming equally well and being left basically unprotected at this point. Uh, yeah, I think it actually comes down to uh, Pikachu making plays. 
Uh, it's really hard for them to do anything without him, and he might even go down here. His Firefly is a few more seconds. A waveform forward. Big double leap from Kanar. Can't get in range for the follow-up auto attacks. The arrow <gasps> clips him. Kanar, what a snipe. <sighs> that was so sick. He masked it, too, with the auto attack hit. Yeah, so it just like it, it's like a it quarter of a second where you just don't quite see the arrow coming out. Yeah. Well done. Camouflage arrows. Nowhere safe on the map right now is B8 looking to ramp up the aggression here. Nice spear coming through. They connect on Gostic. Moonlight Shadow gets deployed, but they came prepped and ready with the sentries. They're going to bring him down. Palantimos now three permanent edgy. Pretty farm, four to four. And Dendi's going to make his move on the top lane. He's. Got an arrow coming in, too. Kingar has been there every step of the way. And now he's the tower is going to take heavy damage, too. Yeah, he's been a part of all five kills right now, LD. And both courier snipes. Yes. My man is on a mission, and Excalibur is starting to rack up the kills here as well. As they're going to look to steal the outpost right before the 10-minute mark, but no, the rotation comes in. Cyber Legacy forcing Excalibur away. A lot of stats being stolen. He'll wave down to the low ground, snag that bounty rune. Palantimos. He'll give up the chase. That was a little bit greedy. They were trying to go for both. Uh, yeah, they even had the ward here, so maybe they just thought it was safe and they could pull it off in time. Yeah, they were trying to go for the old two-for-one play, and that ward is going to get dewarded because the Sark's going to run up and notice uh, that Sentry he being just spotted. out of range, so they'll at least have to buy another one. Yeah. Yeah, something the panel remarked on was like Slark should always be carrying sentries if possible in this early to mid game, but uh, don't see one at the moment on Palantimos. Uh, I completely agree. I think it's really annoying uh, for Slarks to be able to carry one around. And does he? No, he doesn't see it. Oh, they're gonna waste two sentries now. No. Oh, oh, that what? is that is like three millimeters short, man. Oh man, you know what the sad part is? I don't even. If I were a five, I wouldn't even want to place another. Oh, the arrow clips him again. Pikachu caught out and now getting pounded down with the call coming through. There is no escape, and this dazzle is just not starting to feel particularly impactful. Can't really keep anyone alive when they get jumped with that much burst. This guy's that good. much lockdown. This guy's real good. And another tower falling blitz. That is two out of three. The top one took a little bit of damage. Denny's just farming mid, uncontested, and now the whole Radiant jungle feels very vulnerable. Yeah, Denny hasn't even had to been involved yet. Uh, this King R Marana has almost a Yules, pretty much has one, in fact. Uh, and this is going to be a really nice setup for everybody, aside from the Slark. Who can of course uh, dark pact, but and for... like, what is your save? Because shallow grave is unlikely to be useful this game. The heal is not enough of a heal. Yeah. Like so, if someone gets hit by that combo, they're just dead, right? Yes, and I think it's it's just really good against Batrider too. When he uh, tries to lasso somebody, you can just hold him in place. Like the lasso is not nearly as scary if you can't pull them back into your team, right? But good point. I I think that the Dazzle was probably just more about the laning phase. I don't even know if he levels Grave uh, for a while. Well, Palantimos, everywhere he goes, he is slowed down, and they've got to know their awards all around. Big Num, this D award will connect. So at least they get a tiny bit of map control back. And they did end up, I guess, D warding the other one in the jungle uh, as okay, well. So, so they bad. have gotten rid of some of the infestation here. Oh, and Pikachu dies again. There's four heroes here for him. And he had that solo kill on the morph early on, but hasn't really been able to recover his game. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a huge morphling. I really thought the other lanes would go much better for Cyber Legacy. I thought maybe this mid matchup would be a little bit rough for morphling, but it's not like he even missed a beat. So do you just put it all down to just King R basically outplaying expectations on the Marana? Or oh, yeah. is King there R something else that Cyber Legacy should have been doing? King R has no setup for his arrow. Aside from Dendi, and he doesn't even really roam top aside from that one time. Yeah. Uh, he's 4-0-4 four, four right now. Uh, he's been pretty much everywhere on the map. He's been a part of all eight kills on his team. Like, he has gotten away with a little bit too much, I feel. Like, look at his net worth. He's ahead of the mid bat rider. That's how much impact he's had. Yeah, he does have that Yules you mentioned now. Grimstroke's got to be careful here up top. As Gostic is farming stack after stack, very close to the Blink Dagger, at which point I have to imagine we're going to see that next level of aggression from B8. And he's got Blink Dagger now, too. Uh, I mean, they're about to have 
all three of their cores at the top of the net worth chart. It is Slark who's still doing okay, but they have ways to deal with them. They have a lot of AoE, they have good amounts of control. The Axe Call, obviously, very good against Stun the Slark. Stun comes in, follow-up arrow is there, and now <laughs> raining down the Hellfire. They will get that follow-up kill. Batrider dead again, just completely lacking they might impact rush. this game. And oh, with the DD, you betcha. They even missed Dendi on the smoke. They, they don't, I don't even think they These two can just do it by to. themselves. He's got lifesteal. Oh, blink forward. Meanwhile, they're also going for kills. They're going to find the Slark. The combo is there. Quick chop. And Gostik secures another. I mean, th there's so much catch now for B8. And there's just really no escape for Cyber Legacy. Yeah, they're doing a really, really good job right now of being aggressive everywhere on the map. Like, this is a really, really fluid team, oh, I'd say. desperation attempt to fight this Roche. It's too late, it looks like. They'll lob out a nuke, but Happy Dira needs to get away. They're going to go for the bigger, juicier target. The Mars is... Now it's Mars on Mars action. Arrow coming through once again. Everyone's a connection. There's the two-hero blink call. Follow-up slam jam. And thank you, ma'am. Big Num on the run. Two dead and likely to be three in just a sec. Dendi blinking for Excalibur. Make it three. Looking for the fourth. They're going to get it to the lone survivor. Limping away uh, is the fish man as he's respawned. This is... This is so rough right now for Cyber Legacy, and it's just because they don't really have anyone that can easily make plays uh, because their Batrider has had such a rough game. Like, they really rely on him uh, to start fights. It's gotten so bad that he skipped going for the travels and has now decided, I need treads. You see the jump right here? They're not really sure if they can fight or not. They start backpedaling. Yeah, a lot of hesitation, and Gostik's like, oh yeah, I'll take that easy two hero call. Slark respawns, but uh, it's effectively a team wipe with the Slark death from earlier. So all five dead. Aegis now claimed. Goes on the morph. Almost has his Manta style. DK has a blink as well. So Dendi now going to go back into a BKB, it looks like. So uh, nice all the core out. items, they're going to try to move out and look for a fight. Arrow comes in again. Oh, just barely whips. Barely <laughs> clipping them. Uh, doesn't quite connect, though. They are going to spear up Gosta. Can they bring him down, though? That Rider Lasso coming through on the backside of the fight. Puts the DK on a cliff, but he's just going to TP out. Dendi gets out of there in time. They do use this opportunity to get the Axe kill, but Morphling standing strong. Wants to go back in onto Last Hero, who tries to retreat with the Invisor and the Spear coming through. Not quite enough to pin King R, who leaps away to safety. Flame Break might bring him down. He's got the Yules in three. He's dead. It's not in time, so two kills. Crucial ones at that as Excalibur has to run, but they're hunting. They want to kill this morph. I don't know if they can, but they're going to try. Spears him in. Follow up is going to be there from Palantimos. He doesn't have many stacks, this guy but he's starting ages. to get them. They're really committing for Excalibur, and it's not working out. They've lost one, about to be two. Palantimos jumping away. He will fall. Excalibur staying alive through it all. And now Pikachu flying over the cliff back to safety. He will retreat, but they've lost their Slark. They might lose more. The Blink Call comes through. They still have the Outpost, and they're going to snag the big numb kill, so they don't manage to remove that Aegis. They lose three, and they lose the Slark as well. I mean, they knew that Morph had Aegis. I'm not sure if they really thought they were going to kill him under a Tier 2 tower with that many heroes up, uh, and he had Strength Morph going too. That was some Divide Donor. <laughs> I think they, they were probably just like, we're so far behind. We've got to, like, snowball super hard, like, try to catch them all one by one. But. Yeah, but that's the easiest way to throw it, as we're going to see here in the replay. If that was any other hero except the Morphling, like, maybe you can go for that. But, oh, I agree with you. But it being Morph and him having Aegis just... It was close, but they were not able to get the kill. I think the upside for that fight, like, the best thing that could potentially happen is uh, they get the Aegis, and then they lose a hero still. Well, it sounds like a beautiful dream, but uh, this game turning into a nightmare for Cyber Legacy. They want to take another fight, though. This is going to be uh, this is this feels like up. almost the last stand. If they lose this fight, they're probably losing a lane of Rex. Blink Dendi. forward from oh, Dendi. He Doesn't have the dragon form on. That was weird. He just kind of paused. They're going to call just the Slark here. Excalibur gets speared back in. Can they bring him down fast? They do. But my god, this ultimate from LeBron Dota just ripping them apart with the Mortimer's kisses. They try to finish off Dendi. They can't do it. Now Excalibur going in. He spears him. I'll show you how to play Mars, he says. Counter spear. Spears on spears on spears. Then an arrow crashing through as well. Oh, it's looking completely lost at this point for Cyber Legacy. A full five-man wipe. They did get the Aegis, they got the Axe, but now they're going to lose 
At oh. least the tier two, possibly a Okay, lane. they're just <laughs> oh, well, now they have lost. All right, GG. So Big Num without without even calling GG leaves the game, which then prompts his team to say, Yeah, we're done. Uh, you, you, you like do speculate if there's some tilt and uh, turmoil going on. He's probably pretty if he's just eager to get to game two and put this one behind.